guys, so today we're going to talk about the new Becca Cosmetics Be A Light Palette. Um, now, I was going to do a full face review and everything, but I came down with the flu, so I'm kind of out of it right now. So I figured um, I wanted to get this video out before people got their hands on it. It just came out. I've had it for about a week, um, maybe a week and a half, um, and then I got sick, so I wasn't able to put this up as soon as I wanted to. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put it up now and I'll do swatches of it for sure. It's a light to medium face palette and this is what the packaging looks like. So it's very pretty and it just says Becca here. In the back it has, um, I don't know if you guys can really see, but it has one, two, three, and four. So it tells you step by step what it's for. It does have a blush in there. It has a blurring powder, which is really cool. And then it has a face powder also, a brightening powder, and contour. So it's pretty much your all-in-one face palette that you will need. Um, so okay. Fleek, you can see that. And then it just says Be A Light, and it's like raised font on here. Um, packaging feels... Uh, it feels kind of um, flimsy a little bit, like if you kind of touch it and stuff, but the back it tells you here, be a light, light to medium contour palette, and then it has what it has on here, so you don't have to keep the box pretty much. So I like when palettes have this in the back, um, so we can refer to later on. This is the front here, very pretty. So now let's open this baby. When you open it, this is what you see right here. Um, so you see the powder, um, that's the blush, it's a swirl blush, is what it says. Um, it has a full length mirror at the top, which is really, really cool. When a palette comes with a mirror, that is awesome. Um, I kind of feel like, you know, if you're paying for a palette, it should come with the mirror, because then you can just travel with this, you know, it has your essentials here. And, and that's so cute when companies put little reminders like that for us. It's just cute, you know? Um, so yeah, so this is what the palette looks like. Very pretty. These two are full size, and these are um, basically half of the, the sizes. So now let me tell you what is what. Okay, so this one here is the bright, brightening powder. So you get the full size brightening powder. This here is a blush. Yes, a marble blush here, and this here is contour, and this here is a full-size blurring powder. So you get a little bit of everything. Seeing the packaging now and just showing it, it's very, very pretty. This here is intriguing to the eye. It's a good size palette. So very, very pretty. Um, packaging is a little flimsy, but not not like crazy where it feels cheap definitely sturdy definitely sturdy uh the mirror like i said is a plus and it does say becca there be confident and then this is the back so we will go ahead and swatch this is the brightening powder so let's just get some so that's the brightening powder so you can't really see it, but it does brighten a little bit. Now let's do the blush. This is the blush right here. Oh, that blush is beautiful. Do you see that? The blush is so pretty. Okay, now let's do the contour. Contour is fairly light, so you definitely, this would just be just kind of like a glow kind of contour. You'd have to definitely build it up. So that's what that looks like. And then the blurring powder, I'm excited to try this. And that's this one here. So the blurring powder definitely has a little bit more color to it. Um, now, as far as blurring, 
I mean, I don't really see the effect of that. It has shimmer to it too. So, I mean, you can even use that as a powder, pretty much. Um, the thing that stands out here the most is definitely the blush. The blush is really, really pretty. So swatches definitely don't, um, definitely don't do it justice. Um, I added a little bit more there to see if you can see it. So I, I mean, I don't know. Based off of the swatches, I will definitely have to do a full face review and let you guys know what I think after I use it. Based on the swatches, I, I hate to say this, but I don't think that this is a must just based off of the swatches. Now, the, um, the blush, I would definitely use the blush. I do see myself using the blush and the contour just to kind of warm up my face. I do see me using these two a lot. I don't really know about these two here. Um, maybe the blurring powder because it does have some sparkle to it. So maybe just applying that to my face. Um, but like I said, I see myself using these two here more than any others on here. I will link the price of this. Any reviews that Sephora has, you can look on the Sephora website. This palette was just released, so I don't know if anybody has had it, you know, delivered yet. Um, but definitely keep that in mind. The, they do have another color also. This one is the light to medium. And I think they have a, a medium to dark. Not too sure. But based off of this one, um, I would definitely use, like I said, these two. And that's pretty much it. But this is the full review, the swatches of this palette. Tell me what you guys think. If y'all got it, when y'all use it, please let me know what you think. I will be using this um, on a look that I create soon. And I will uh, let you guys know what I think about it when I finally use it. But I just wanted to give you an insight of the palette. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I know I've been a little MIA lately. Um, 2017 was a rough, rough year for me um, and my family. So little by little, I'm trying to come back into the YouTube world. And I am also active on Facebook. So if you don't follow me yet, go follow me on Facebook. I have a beauty page. It's called Beauty Talk with V. And I'm way more active on there just because... Editing takes a lot of time and for um, YouTube, so I like to do lives there and you know It's you make mistakes and you fix them right then and there. There's no editing. No none of that so that one's like real and um, So I've been really trying to grow my Facebook page to then extend and grow out um, to my other pages my Instagram and my YouTube so if you haven't followed me yet, please follow me on all my social medias. I will link everything down below. If you have any questions or anything, please feel free to let me know. Um, just drop your comments. I answer every single comment. Um, and please excuse the fire detector. I need to change out the battery. So you're probably going to hear that once in a while through this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.